Hello and welcome to Democracy at Work, a program designed to educate and inform the general public on electoral matters and it is brought to you by the electoral offices of St. Kitts and Nevis. Were you aware that there are offenses against the electoral processes that are punishable by law? Well, there are. And in this program, I will explain some of them. I am your host, Elvin Bailey, Supervisor of Elections. The highest penalty of $30,000 to $50,000 or five years imprisonment or both is applicable to the offense of personation, that is, pretending to be someone else and voting in the name of that person, whether that person is living, is dead, is fictitious, and especially if the person do the, doing the impersonation has already voted somewhere else. Offenses against electoral processes that are punishable upon conviction by a fine of up to $30,000 or five years imprisonment or both are as follows. Willfully making any claim to be included in the register of voters by a person who has ceased to be a citizen of the Federation or a citizen of the Commonwealth after becoming 18 years old and has not subsequently regained citizenship. A person who is younger than 18 years a person who does not have the requisite residential or other qualifications for inclusion in the register. Knowingly making false grounds for an objection to the inclusion of any name on the register. Knowingly making a false declaration in order to be registered as a voter. Knowingly making a false statement for the purpose of voting in any particular constituency and being a candidate who commits perjury during nomination about their citizenship. The person who nominates a candidate who commits perjury about his or her citizenship is, listened, is liable to a $20,000 fine or five years imprisonment or both. Offenses that attract a $10,000 fine or six months imprisonment are furnishing of loudspeaker, bunting, ensign, banner, standard or set of colors, or any other flag to any person with the intent that it be carried, worn, or used on vehicles as political propaganda on polling day. Furnishing any flag, ribbon, label, or like flavor to or for any person with the intent for it to be worn or used in any constituency on polling day as a party badge to distinguish the wearer as a supporter of any candidate or political party. If an employer directly or indirectly refuses, intimidates, in unduly influences, or in any way interferes with the granting to any voter who is an employee of such period for voting shall, upon conviction, be liable to a fine of $5,000 or six months of imprisonment. The employer is prohibited by law from salary deduction for time off on voting day. Those who sell or give away intoxicating liquor during polling on any polling day even if they have a liquor license, can be fined $1,000 or six months imprisonment. Bribery, treating, exerting undue influence are also offenses in the category of $1,000 or six months imprisonment. But in addition, these offenses, along with impersonation, aiding, counseling, or encouraging impersonation, will result in a seven-year ban from being a registered voter or of being elected to the assembly or losing his or her seat if already a member of the assembly. There's a $500 fine and or two months imprisonment for an offense committed by any person who willfully destroys, defaces, mutilates, removes or alters any notice 
published via the electoral offices in connection with the registration duties or any copies of documents which have been made available for public inspection. To my mind, these penalties are designed to keep the electoral process pure and wholesome and to deter wrongdoing. You will decide whether they work. In the interest of full disclosure, it's not just the general public who must be on their best behavior. We at the electoral office are also subject to prosecution, but we will tell you about them in another program. But for more information, you can contact us at 465-2873 or 469-5061. That's all for this edition of Democracy at Work. Join us again next time when we continue to describe election offenses as we strive to ensure one man, one vote in the right place and fairness for all.